Hey, you're here. Uh, yep, all set for practice. How'd it go with your parents? Good. I mean, they were upset. Really upset, but my mom wanted me to thank you. She said I'm lucky to have a friend like you. You know, you don't have to do this today. Practice? No. No, I want to. Really. Okay, well, I'll see you out there. Wow. It's a plant. A potted narcissist, to be exact. Just my way of saying sorry. I don't know what came over me yesterday. Okay. Apology accepted. What do you think of island floral? Uh, pretty? <laughs> Doing some cleaning at home? Nope. Extra kids means extra mess and extra paw prints on my windows. Which is why you, Danny, and Derek will be cleaning them in detention. But I bought you a plant. A potted narcissist, to be exact. I'll see you after school. I'll bring the squeegees. Hey, slugger. How's the gut? Whoa. Oh. Fast reflexes. Yeah, well, if I let you touch these abs, I have to charge. House rules, Jane. Hey, check this out. Degrassi Unity Games. Yeah, Degrassi and Lakehurst need a day to get together and have fun, you know? See that we're all the same. Hey, nothing promotes peace like a beanie toss. Dude, you're reaching a level of critical darkness here. <laughs> well, do you have a better idea? I'll tell you what, I'll help you. But I want something in return. Game of pool. After school? Well, if you're gonna twist my arm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This is so weird. I look like you in those old pictures. Don't tell your father I'm altering the dress I wore when we met. Mom, if you think I'm going to meet my future husband at the debut, you're cuckoo bananas. It was love at first sight. And instead of becoming a ballerina, you were married at 18 and headed to Canada. I made the best choice I could at the time. And being a nurse isn't so bad. But you gave up your dream. And I also wanted a family and a better life. And if I hadn't, you probably wouldn't be here. Sometimes I wish I wasn't here. Here, here. That has barely changed since I came back home. Your curfew is later, and your father is letting you use his car to take your project to school. whoop de doo I thought the point of a debut was that I'm an adult now. Sure wouldn't know it being around here. Maybe your father doesn't think you act very much like an adult sometimes, huh? Like last night with Jubert? What about what you think? How come that doesn't matter? Every day you were at Emma's, I stared at that door, waiting. I know. And your father did too, Manuela. Please stop fighting with him. For me. I'm so burnt from last night. Dude, your girlfriend is like the Energizer Bunny. Whoa, she's not my girlfriend, man. I mean, we haven't even, like, kissed yet. So what are you waiting for? Dude, she's tiring me out. She's always go, go, go. Sometimes I just want to slow down, you know? Hang out and talk. You, Spinner Mason, you want to talk. <laughs> is that so crazy? I'm not that guy anymore, man. Just a party all the time. 
Sometimes I get like really dark. That's normal. I mean, do you know how pissed I was when they gave me wheels for legs? You didn't talk to me for a year. Because I gave in to darkness. Maybe it's a good thing to be around someone who's fun and happy all the time. Like Jane. It's yin and yang, bruh. Besides, you need someone to balance out your sad ass. <laughs> Page latte run pronto. Way ahead of you, Andrea. No whip soy heated precisely to 90 degrees. Have my PDA reprogrammed. The commands are off putting. Make them more affirming. Affirming? Right. Is something wrong? Is this not what you had in mind? Nobody looks like they're having any fun. The models aren't smiling. Top marks, Paige. You're as good as I was when I did your job. Almost. Thanks, David. How long did it take you to get promoted? Not long. Four years-ish. Come on, I'm being serious. So am I. And uh, four years passes quickly. Sort of. Paige! Coming, Andrea. Now, a blog is essentially a contradiction. It's both public and private. I want you to contemplate this as you start to update yours, quietly. You went out with Jay last night, and now you're yawning. Something you need to tell me? <laughs> Something happened. Kind of huge. Oh, no. Did you get a bracelet? Not that. We're engaged. <laughs> Jay has outdone himself this time. Jay, give me some credit. We were kissing in the hallway, and my dad caught us. This is amazing. And in panic, I blurted it out. <sighs> you realize how bad an idea this is, right? No idea is perfect, Em. I thought you wanted to be more honest with your parents, and now you come up with the lie to end all lies? This is gonna be a disaster. It's the boy and parent lethal combo. It happens to the best of us. I heard Simpson's sick again. Nah, man. He touched a girl. Yeah, I think he got fired. Miss H walked him out with a box of stuff. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey, if you ladies are looking for some hey. action, sounds like Simpson's your man. Yeah, hey yo. <laughs> Who would ever believe Simpson could ever hurt anyone? I know, right? It's crazy. I'll see you at the pep rally this afternoon. After all this, we're gonna need all the spirit we can get. I'll have my smile on. Busy this morning? Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm just, uh. I thought we should have a chat. Oh, great loco. Isn't it due before class? You should hand it in. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh. Look, Ash, um. Things between us have been really strained lately, and it just seems like we're stuck in a rut. I, I know. That's why I booked us a hotel room for this weekend. Put the birthday cash to good use. Ash. It's got a swimming pool, a nice restaurant. It's all wheelchair accessible. We just get away and reconnect. That's great. I should hand this in. Go to physio. I'll submit it for you. See you at the pep rally? Mm -hmm.
can do this. Jay. Hey, Pops. What uh, rock did you crawl out from under? Come here. Carolyn! Jay's here. Jay? It's been forever. Yeah. I, I wanted you guys to meet Manny. She's... She wants to get to know you. And she convinced me that I do too. Why don't you come inside? Laura. What's going on here? Griffin's moving out. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe it's not. What's that supposed to mean? He made a mistake, Paige. I know what it's like to have a secret you don't think you can tell. This is different, Marco. Being gay wasn't going to potentially kill someone. Exactly. And it was still really hard for me. Wow, you look like a man with a plan. <laughs> Graduate, get my diploma, and wheel onto that airplane. Who knows, when I get back, you just might walk off. Maybe. But if I don't, I mean, if the stem cell treatment doesn't work, I still want to be holding your hand. Mm. Mm. So where to, sir? Travel agent? Two tickets to Amsterdam? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about you all weekend. I know, Jane. Lucas doesn't understand the meaning of sacrifice. You're right. I was lucky. Three years ago, we both took chances. And when you got pregnant, I got scared. That could have been me. You know? Some days I wish it had been. But... Most of the time, I can't even imagine life without Bella. And I almost lost her. And Lucas, he doesn't even care. Well, I do, okay? And I want to be a better aunt and friend. Not that you need any help. No. Jane, I need as much help as I can get. T minus three, two, one, time. And that's a wrap on Media Immersion, people. Final grades will be posted online. Go forth and digitize. Woo!